All right, so we went over the clips, right? Just a quick recap. We show how to build it, how to drag and drop in there, how to make your, your loop length, how to get to the edit feature, um, how to launch it, um, how to make any adjustments if, if you wanna build, build a loop on the fly. We went over all of that. Now it's time to get into the effects. This is the fun part. This is the part that gets people excited. So let the intro play and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, let's go. Here we go. All right, so where I left you off at, left, left off at, we got done with the clips. Now it's time to show y'all how to set up your effects so that you can actually manipulate and have fun with it on the fly, all right? So we can come out of this program edit screen, okay? Go to main. All right, we can actually come out of grid unless you wanna look at it. All right, so as you see, like I told you how I got mine set up, I can't believe I just smacked on for the world to see. <laughs> I got it set up where lane one of my Q links is for the master. Okay, that's everything on my master channel. Lane two is for my clips. Okay, that's my clip program. Okay, this one, lane three, is for my sub mixes. That's my sub mixes. Okay. And the reason why I use submix is so I get eight additional slots. All right. And then this one here, um, you can just add overflow. Uh, I haven't found a, a, a need for it yet, but it is what it is. All right. So master. So on my master, I got a beat repeat. I got the tape delay. I got the air lo-fi. And the lo-fi is so that I is my bit, bit reducer, right? Uh, I was playing with it extreme in the previous clip, but you don't have to play with it that extreme just to give it a little bit of crunch, you know? Then you got this one right here, which is the band pass filter suite. Now I'm gonna show you the reason why I got this here is because your last effect is the one that you can control on the screen. So, if I got this going, I got it going, right? I'll put one and two. So now I still got that. Your last effect is what you can use for your screen for your X, Y effect. All right. So remember that. All right. And because I got it on output one and two, which is my master channel. That's why it's there. All right. Let's get back to where we was at. So how I got mine set up. That beat repeat is like a must. That's my priority. So that's why I got that on there. But it's not behaving like it's supposed to. And this is one of the bugs that I was talking about previously. When you have a program or a Q-Link uh, project thing set up, momentary for whatever reason gets deleted after every time you close it. Not deleted, it, it gets sent back to the beginning. I submitted a trouble ticket on it. I'm waiting for, for a response. Um, hopefully they respond to it and they, they address the issue. But I'm gonna show you what I like to do. So when I do it like this, this is all delay time. That's all delay time. I need it to be set here. So as soon as I tap it, it turns on. But you see how it snapped back? So boom. This literally takes three seconds to do to fix. So it's not a big deal. Don't be like, oh, no, no it's not a big deal in any shape or form. It literally takes three seconds, uh, five seconds to do it to every single one that you have enabled. All right. And the reason why enabled is important is because that's how you turn the effects on and off. So when you're setting these effects, you need to 
to, to do the enable, not the mix, not the X, Y, none of that. It's the enable. All right. So turn it on. Wait till it come on. There it go. Back it off one. Now I'm going to set my momentary. So now when I let it go, it'll bounce back to the closest off position before the on. Boom. That's what you want because you don't want that delay. There's a little delay when you got to turn it all away. You see what I'm saying? And that's no big deal. It's not a big deal. All right. So we're going to do that for the other one. All right. Boom. I don't know why I got two tape delays on here, by the way. I've been meaning to get rid of one of them, but it is what it is. I'll get rid of it eventually. All right. Boom. Turn it on, off, turn it on. Boom. So now, boom. I have another one over here. Right here. Yep. Boom. Turn it off. So you got to select it before you do this. Okay. Boom. On, off, on, off. There we go. That's it. It's done. It's done. It literally took what? Eight seconds to do all three. So it's not a big deal. It's not a game changer. All right. So now you see that next one is it says X axis. All right. Your X and Y axis is how you if you notice all those XY effects have two different things, it'll be like a filter and a, a, a beat repeat or high and low frequencies and stuff like that. So one is X, one is Y. All right. So on a beat repeat, the X effect is the time signature. All right. The Y is your filter, your filter depth and all that stuff. I don't need that. I like where the filter is set. So I set the, I put an X axis because I want to be able to control that. You see what I'm saying? I want to be able to control that. So that's why I have that X axis there. And you find out, you figure out where you like it set normally, whatever. And you can make it where it bounce back to that. I just haven't done that. But you can, yeah, you can make it where, it, let's say I want to set that to my momentary. Let me see. Hold on. Let's say I want that to be my momentary. I can set it to there. Now, whenever I turn it on, it'll go back. It's whatever you want. I like mine to be free flowing, so I don't worry about setting it there. All right. Sample rate, that's my lo fi. Yeah. I got it on the momentary to be all the way maxed to the right so it can go clean as soon as I let it go. Okay. Tape stop. Now, with the tape stop, there's two parts of the tape stop there's the filter and the actual tape stop. I wanted a quarter inch drag, I mean a quarter note drag. As a DJ, that's that's what I used to go and fine tune and set my stop my stop on my 1200s. So, um but let me show you with this though. So with the tape stop Let's open it up. Let's open it up. You can't see the XY and stuff like that. But you pretty much you set it on the screen. So uh, I don't want to delete that other one. So remember how I said the last X, Y effect is the one you can control on the screen. So you set it up how you want it. Right. You set it up before you move on to your next one. Set it up how you want it. Then you you do the enable or disable. OK. So set it up first. See, these are all the features that you got for it. So it's set to go to master. It's my second insert, enable, boom, done. That's what you want. You don't want wet, dry, you want enable. But set it up before you actually program your Q-Link to it, all right, and save it. Because then that's going to be your default for your tape stop. All right. Let's go to clips, the clip uh, program. So the clip program, for me, it's lane two, right? Now in lane two, I got a filter. See that right there? Clip one, a low pass filter. And I got it set to max out to be super clean. You can program the resonance. 
I don't do a lot with the resonance resonance um, when I'm using compositions. So that's why I don't have it selected, but you can select it if you want to. And then all it is just. As soon as I let it go, it's going to go back to clean. Momentary. Remember that. All right. That's another tape stop. So I want it to behave by itself. So this one, when I press tape stop, it, um, it does the entire project. It does everything. So I can't press tape stop and then still trigger a sample, like trigger a, uh, well, let's go. I still can't trigger that. Okay. Cause it'll be, everything will be stopped. All right. That's good for like, if you're trying to end your set. So, oh, that's why I have it set up separately. That's why it's on the master and on the clip. Mute. I set a mute to trigger the clip mute. Why would I do that? Oh, well, I'll show you why. Boom. I put it on ad lib. Oh, let me get it one going. Oh, no. Put it on ad lib. Welcome to Cream City. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. This is the original. How y'all feel out there? Okay. So that makes it where I can still trigger everything that I want going. As far as with my ad libs and all that stuff, but I can mute just the music, just the music. All right. And then send. I have a. Trying to show how I can show it. I have a reverb spring reverb on this one return right i like to use that on my drums i like to use it on my drums so let's see snare yeah yeah Woo! this adds a little uh you know um i can put a compressor at the end of that reverb and make it where it's like really booming. Um, but it's however you want to set it. So that's how I got that set up. So now what I want to do is I want to add a compressor. All right. I got a compressor on there in my sub mix, but I want to be able to trigger it. All right. So with a compressor, this is where you want to use the mix dry thing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to lane three where my submix stuff is that I'm going to tap the cue link that I want, which is this one. I'm going to engage it. My source is going to be submix because that's where I have the compressor. Let me show you. See compressor. Got an air compressor and a flanger. We're going to go ahead and map these. All right. So let's go back. Boom. So the source is submix one for me. Now we're going to go to the first insert, which is compressor. I don't need to cover all these. I just need the mix. That's it. And then I'm going to go in there and actually adjust the compressor to behave how I want it to behave. Okay. Then I'm going to save my program or save the, uh, the preset. And now it's always there. Now for the compressor, I can use a pumper, which actually works pretty good. But uh, I'm, I, I don't know. I feel like I should be using a compressor. And the air compressor is a, a, a good FET compressor. So let's do that. Let's see what we can get going. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm getting that pumping now. It's not behaving quite how I want it to, though. So we're going to edit it. Here, let's max it out. It's not behaving how I want it to. So let's edit that. Let's see. Uh... Why did it stop? Oh, I got loop off. I'm like, what's going on? You got to make sure you got keep loop on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Use an air. Oh. <laughs> I want to give my threshold some time to breathe. show you the other option okay, let's go ahead let's go ahead and get back to three turn that mix down so i want that on momentary i absolutely want that on momentary i'm gonna show you the other option mm. absolutely want the other option let's go pumper uh we're gonna put the pumper here <laughs> the pumper <laughs> Submix one. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the sub the pumper there. All right. So we're gonna go to dynamics. The pumper. The pumper. And then we said it. I don't know why I like saying pumper. I know. I know. <laughs> Submix one. Parameter three. We'll insert three. And what we're going to do is we're going to go, let's go depth. Okay. That's how much of the pumper is working. Okay. So let's, let's see. Hold on. You can set the speed of the pumper on it too. So we're gonna set a momentary for zero. Let's go ahead and set the speed on that. Submix one. That's the source. Insert three. Speed. Okay. Now it's already set to fourth. you could set a max on here okay and the last one we're gonna set is a flanger the flanger on this thing is a beast by the way my favorite one to use is the soft flanger we're gonna definitely put that on mix and we're gonna put that on momentary. Okay? So let me show you. Got both of them going.
Let's see what another sample sound like on that drum track. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's add one more thing that I didn't add in clips that I guess I could have. For those of my vinyl people, let's go to uh let's just drop a vinyl loop. We can put vinyl in there to give it that last little bit of crunch. And what you do is you just make that where it's going all the time. All right. Um let's see. I think I'm gonna do vinyl one actually. So we're gonna do vinyl one. All right. Let's go ahead and set it so it's an even four bars. So we're gonna change the warp timing on it. Boom, a little bit extra. Pull that back. Actually, I don't. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So now whenever you're uh, project starts playing it'll have final crackle in it done adjust it to taste turn it down a little bit now you good you good money another clip. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I was just playing with it. All right. Last little tip. Add a little vinyl to it. There. Now, you got it. I had it. Now, you got it. All right? The template's down at the bottom. Play with it a little bit. Build it. If you need to go back and, and add, add, get some questions answered, you know where it's at. Just go back and get in there and, and twiddle around with it, okay? If you got any questions, hit me on the comments. Let me know what your questions are. I'll answer them in the, the comments, no problem. Um, if it gets a lot of the same question, I'll update the, the video. I have no problem doing that. So. Um, yeah, that's it. I had the knowledge. Now I just gave it to you guys. Enjoy it. Play with it a little bit. Hey, if y'all come up with some creative combinations, share them with me. Let me know. Send me back your templates. You know what I'm saying? Let me get you featured on the channel. You know what I'm saying? Let's do that. All right. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Hit the notification button. Y'all take care of yourselves. All right. Yeah, this was good. I like this. And thanks, y'all. Hey, real quick. Real finally. I want to tell everybody, thank you for the support and love that you've been giving me. And the beginning of the year, I had 80 subscribers on YouTube. Um, I'm not a big, oh, go follow me, subscribe to me. I'm not that, I'm, I'm not good at that. Um, and I started recently putting videos up consistently starting probably in November. And over the time, over the course of the year, I went from 80 to 687 i think that's what it is right now and it's because y'all y'all dig what i'm doing i'll admit i didn't think people would so i never did it because there's so many tutorials out there but as long as y'all want to see stuff and me talking about it i will do it and i really appreciate you guys for letting me know that y'all wanted to hear my voice so please feel free to share the videos uh, um, help me get up to, to a thousand so I can unlock some of these other features that YouTube won't let me have access to. Um, and I'm gonna keep doing it for y'all. 2021 is going to be a big year. I got tons of stuff that just came in so I can upgrade my video production quality and all that stuff. 
I just got to learn it because I'm not a video guy, but it's coming. All right. Hey, y'all take care. Y'all be safe. Always stay dope. And remember, take care of yourself. Make something dope for yourself, but don't be a jerk. Look out for others. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll let y'all later. Peace. <laughs>